Welcome to another deep dive. Today we're heading to Florida. Oh, nice. To a city that um, might surprise you. Uh, it's Hollywood. Interesting. Not the one in California, obviously. Well, right. But Hollywood, Florida. And we're going to look past the beaches. Well, not completely. To see what else makes this place tick. Makes sense. Our main source here is an article. Uh, it's called Hollywood, Florida History Schools Dining Attractions. Catchy. Yeah, pretty straightforward, right? Yeah. So we'll be diving into a bit of everything, you know. A little bit of history, some schools, food, things to do. Exactly. So to kick things off, let's talk about the man who dreamed up this whole city. Okay, yeah. yeah. Joseph Young, back in 1925. Now, when you say dreamed up, did he just kind of stumble on the place? or? Oh, no, he had a vision. Oh, okay. He called it, get this, dream city in Florida. Wow ambitious right and he wanted to blend like the natural beauty with the whole city buzz that's a tough balance to strike and yet from what i've read mm -hmm. hollywood florida still kind of pulls it off interesting so where can we see this vision in action today well the article mentions this hollywood historic district okay so we're talking old buildings preserved architecture that kind of thing yeah and not just any buildings we're talking mediterranean revival oh wow yeah with the arches and the courtyards exactly and there's some mission style architecture too the spanish colonial influence you know your stuff well a little bit i do some reading before these deep dives you know so if our listeners a history buff or just appreciates beautiful buildings this historic district sounds like a must see Absolutely. But it's not just about the past, right? right? we got to talk about the present. Schools, for one. Families need to know. Exactly. And Hollywood's part of the Broward County Public Schools. Which is a pretty good system, from what I've heard. Yeah. Considered one of the better ones. Strong academics. So let's say a family's moving to Hollywood. Any specific schools you'd highlight? Well, Hollywood Hills High School gets mentioned a lot. Okay, what's their specialty? Seems to be college prep, strong academics overall, getting kids ready for that next step. Makes sense, but not everyone's going the public school route, so... Right. There are options, like Chamadon Madonna College Preparatory. Public school, got it. And it has that faith-based element, too, for those looking for that. All right, so we've got some history. We've got education covered. What's next? Gotta keep people fed. Exactly. Time to talk food. My favorite part. So, Hollywood, Florida, what's the culinary scene like? Well, it's surprisingly diverse. Really runs the gamut. Okay. You gotta give me more than that. Give you some highlights. Hit me with them. All right, so first up, for that special occasion, maybe you want to impress someone. Okay, I'm intrigued. There's Gigi's Waterfront Bar and Grill. Waterfront already sounds fancy. Oh yeah, you get fresh seafood. And the views are amazing. Views of what exactly? The Intracoastal Waterway, it's this like picturesque waterway running along the Atlantic coast. All right, that's definitely date night material. Or, you know, impressing the in-laws. Yeah, good point. But what about something more laid back? <laughs> like the quintessential Hollywood, Florida experience. Yeah, something like that. All right, well, you got to try La Tub Salute. La Tub, okay, what's so special about it? It's right on the water, super casual, and they're famous for their burgers. Burgers on the waterfront sounds pretty Florida to me. It's been around forever, a real institution, you know? Like, everyone knows about if it. If you're local, yeah, it's one of those places you just got to try. All right, La Tub Saloon, noted. But... Let's say I'm coming off the beach. I need something quick. Quick and tasty. Right. Exactly. What are my options? Well, steps away from the beach, you've got the taco spot. Okay, so we're talking... Authentic Mexican food. Nice. So tacos, burritos. All that good stuff. And plenty for vegetarians, too. Always a plus. So Hollywood's got the dining scene covered. It does. And the good food's not limited to restaurants, either. Oh. You're going to make me wait for part two, aren't you? Maybe just a little bit. All right. Fine by me. We'll be back soon with more from Hollywood, Florida. Okay, so you were saying something about good food outside of restaurants. Right, but before we get to that, we got to talk about entertainment. You're right, got to keep our listeners entertained. So Hollywood, obviously, beaches are a big draw. Can't go wrong with a beach day. Exactly, but even beyond that, there's so much to do. Like what? Give me the highlights. All right, picture this. You're scrolling along the ocean. There's shops, restaurants, live music, all happening on this, like, promenade. Sounds lovely. But where exactly am I? This is the Hollywood Beach Broadwalk. It's iconic. Okay, how long are we talking? Is this like a little boardwalk or? 2.5 miles. Wow, that's a serious boardwalk. Yeah, it's a whole experience. You could spend a whole day there and not see everything. Okay, that's good on my list. But what about something uh, more artsy? 
Artsy. Okay, you're going to love Arts Park at Young Circle. Young Circle, that name rings a bell. It's right downtown, and they've got this outdoor amphitheater. Oh, nice. So concerts, performances. All that. Plus, they've got art installations all over the park. Sounds pretty cool. And they're always doing events like art shows, food truck gatherings, you name it. So, something for everyone. Exactly. And if you really want to dive into the history of the place... Hit me with it. you got to check out the Hollywood Historical Society. So we're talking museums, exhibits, that sort of thing. Yeah, plus they do guided tours, events, really get into the nitty-gritty of how Hollywood came to be. All right, I'm sensing a theme here. Hollywood's got it all. It really does. But we can't forget about nature. Right. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Exactly. And Hollywood has some fantastic parks. Okay, break it down for me. What are my options? Well, for the classic beach park experience, there's Hollywood North Beach Park. So we're talking beaches, picnic areas, all that good stuff. Plus they've got some nature trails, too, if you want to get away from the crowds. Nice. I like options. Now, what about something more uh, adventurous? Adventurous. All right. Westlake Park is the place for you. What makes it so adventurous? Well, it's a haven for kayaking, canoeing, paddle boarding. Oh, I see. Lots of water activities. It's tons. Plus, it's great for bird watchers or just anyone who wants to be out in nature. All right. Westlake Park. Noted. But what about families with kids? Ah, well, for families, you can't beat Topeki Yugni Park. Try saying that three times fast. Right. They just call it T.Y. Park. Makes sense. So yeah. what's so great about T.Y. Park? Well, they've got a lake for paddle boating, playgrounds, picnic areas. Yeah, so it's pretty standard. So. Far. Oh, and they have a water park, too. Okay, now you're talking. Perfect for those hot Florida days. Definitely a family pleaser. <laughs> but speaking of family fun, you know what else Hollywood's got? Don't tell me festivals. You got it. The article mentioned this Hollywood Beach Latin Festival. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. Music, dance, food from all over Latin America. Sounds like a party. It is. And for something a little more uh, low-key. Low-key. Okay, I'm listening. They do Artsburg movie nights at Young Circle. So outdoor movies? Exactly. Free, under the stars, perfect for a family outing. Or a date night, maybe. Could be. And speaking of date nights, Hollywood's got some great neighborhoods for just about everyone. All right, let's talk neighborhoods. So we're back. Talking neighborhoods in Hollywood, Florida. All right. Where'd we leave off? We were about to dive into the specifics. You know, what makes each area unique? Right, because Hollywood's got options. It does. The article mentioned Hollywood Lakes, Harbor Islands, and... Uh, Floral Hills. That's the one. So, Hollywood Lakes. What's the vibe there? Hollywood Lakes, it's all about charm, you know? Okay, charm. I like it. Break it down for me. Picture this. Tree-lined streets, historic homes... People sitting on their porches, waving hello. Sounds very friendly. It is. It's a close-knit community, and you're close to both the beach and the downtown. So best of both worlds. Kind of, yeah. Great for people who want to be active, walkable to everything. Makes sense. Now, Harbor Islands. That sounds fancy. Well, yeah. Harbor Islands is upscale, gated community. So we're talking. Waterfront living, big time, uh. private docks for your boat, all the amenities you could want. All right. Living the dream. But what about something uh, more middle of the road? Middle of the road. Okay, yeah. Emerald Hills might fit the bill. What Emerald Hills like? It's a mix. You know, single family homes, townhouses, good schools, parks, shopping. So suburban, but still convenient. Exactly. Plus, you're close to golf courses, recreation, all that. All right. So no matter what you're looking for, it seems like. Hollywood's got a neighborhood for you. <laughs> I'm convinced. But... You know, finding the right place, that can be tough. Oh, yeah. Especially in a new city, the real estate market can be daunting. Any advice for our listeners who might be, you know, thinking of making the move? Well, you need someone who knows Hollywood, someone you can trust. Makes sense. So who would you recommend? Honestly, if you're talking Hollywood, Florida real estate. Yeah. Antonio Ortega, LLC. He's the guy. Okay. And what makes him so special? Well, he's been doing this a long time, knows the market inside and out. Experience matters. It really does. Plus, he's just a great guy, really cares about his clients. And I hear he's got a special offer going on right now. Oh, yeah. He's contributing 10% of his fee towards closing costs. Wow. That's a pretty big deal. Especially for first-time buyers or anyone trying to save some money. Definitely something to consider. So if anyone's interested, how do they find him? His website is the best place. It's AntoniaOrtigalLLC.com. Perfect. We'll make sure to include that in the show notes. All right, so we've covered a lot. We have history, food, things to do, even real estate. Hollywood, Florida is sounding pretty good right about now. It's a hidden gem for sure. So before we let our listeners go, I got to ask. What's that? What surprised you the most about Hollywood, Florida? Hmm. 
Good question. I think it's the overall feeling, you know? Vibe. Yeah, it's relaxed, but energetic, charming, but modern. It's like they've bottled that perfect Florida vacation feeling. They made it a whole city. Exactly. Yeah. So for our listeners, I hope this deep dive has sparked some curiosity. Maybe even inspired a trip. Who knows? Maybe yeah. we'll see on the Hollywood Beach Broadwalk sometime. Stranger things have happened. It's true. Well, thanks for joining us for another deep dive. We'll see you next time. See you soon.